up, girls? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video, as you can see in the title below, it's going to be an affordable makeup for glasses wearers. I have received requests to do a video for people who wear makeup na nagaglasses. So, ito na ang para sa inyo, baby girls. Sana makatulong and let's move on to the tutorial. Right, baby girls? So, magsimula na tayo. Actually, nakapagsimula na ako pero napansin ko mali yung settings ng camera natin. Anyway, for primer, ginamit ko tong Quick FX No Shine Mattifier. And this is a very good option for an affordable primer kasi... 190 pesos lang yata to, and then it's a good primer for oily skin. So, itry nyo siya if you're looking for a primer to try na mura lang, bongga yan. So, after the primer, let's proceed to our foundation, and I'm just going to use this Fashion 21 SPF 50 Perfect Stick Foundation. Bongga tong foundation na to, baby girls. I got it for like less than 190 pesos, and bonggang bongga siya for me. I really really like it. Very skin-like yung finish niya. Pero nakakabigay naman siya ng coverage. Hindi nga lang full. Pero okay na okay na para sa akin. Mine is in the shade Light Beige. By the way, baby girls, pagpasensya niyo na merong nagpupukpuk sa labas. So if you hear that, I'm very very sorry. Wala akong magawa para i-stop sila. <laughs> okay, so for the foundation, I'm literally just going to spread it like all over my face like this. Now, sa foundation, baby girls, kapag nag-glasses ako, which is all the time, um, tinatry ko na hindi lagyan ang foundation yung dito na part ng aking face, which is the part na nagtatouch yung nose pads ng glasses. Kasi, kung malalagyan ang foundation yan, and then powder, and then matatouch pa ng glasses, tendency is magka-cake up siya, and matatanggal lang yung foundation dyan na natouch, na natouch siya glasses, and then magka-cake up siya around the area where your nose pads meet your face. Mas type ko to gamitan ng brush para mas makakuha ako ng extra coverage sa kanya compared to using a sponge with it. Tapos, super dali lang din yung i-blend. And then, with whatever is left on the brush, ito na nga yung nilalagay ko sa nose part ng aking face. Pero, hindi ko nilalagyan yung part na natatouch ng nose pads. So, we're looking a little weird kasi medyo dark yung under eyes natin. <laughs> Ito yung gagamitin ko, yung The Sem Tip Concealer in the shade 1.5. Um, I've been really liking this concealer lately. And yung ginagawa ko dito for every day, it's just, ayan, dinadot ko lang siya on my under eyes. Tapos nilalagyan ko konti dito sa inner corners kasi dyan yung pinaka dark area of my under eyes. And then, I apply a little bit on my eyelid kasi meron tayong mga visible veins dyan which looks weird and then konti dito para we create the inverted triangle effect ganun itong frame ko ngayon mas narrow siya compared to my old frame so I like to highlight the center of my face more this time compared to last time with my old glasses. Mas feeling ko kasi right now na narrow yung aking glasses na mas kailangan kong i-focus yung highlight sa center ng aking face para my face looks less wide compared to before. Diba? I just blended in using the same brush that I used for our foundation. Tapos, huli ko nang bine-blend yung nasa under eyes ko kasi I let it sit there for a while para it dries a little bit and then parang mas magbibigay siya ng more coverage sa iyong under eyes. Ewan ko. That's what I think. Again, blending it using a stippling motion, never like swiping it para the coverage just stays there. Diba bongga this one compared to this one? Kapag nag glasses ka kasi, uh, the glasses tend to cast a shadow underneath them. So, parang dark tingnan yung iyong eyes. So, it's very important to wear concealer para at least, di ba, mag-brighten up naman yung eyes mo. Tara! There we go. Concealer is on. Now, it's time for powder. Kailangan na kailangan natin mag-powder dito sa Pilipinas kasi napaka-init, di ba? 
after your makeup, kailangan natin ng powder. Kasi kung hindi, sa grabe sa init dito sa Pilipinas, malulusaw lang lahat ng ano mo, lahat ng makeup mo. Paglabas mo ng bahay, pagsakay mo ng jeep, gano'n, nakakaloka. And for me, I have oily skin. So I think I'm just going to bake or cook my foundation today. I'm going to use the ever so famous Michido Final Powder. This one is in the shade Creamy Glow. And I'm just going to use the sponge that comes with the powder. So, hindi ako gagamit ng damp sponge today. Ayan. So, I'm just gonna put the powder on my under eyes before pa sila mag-crease. Then, for the entire face, I do the same thing. I used to do this a lot noon, pero, I don't know, I just stopped. Siguro, I thought, hmm, can't be bothered. <laughs> Once nalagay mo na yung powder all over your face, we're just gonna let it cook there for a while. And we're gonna move on straight to the brows. Now, kailangan on fleek ang iyong kilay kapag nagaglasses ka. Because your eyebrows actually frames your face. Gagamitin ko tong Show Will Two-Way Eyebrow Cake in the shade Zero Zero One. Mongga to I really really like it. Tapos I just use the angled brush that comes with the kit. And I use the darker color in the kit as well. Okay, so what I do is kukuha ako ng product and then dito ko is start sa middle part ng brows ko like so and then with whatever is left on my brush ito na nga yung gagamitin ko pang fill in sa inner half ng ating kilay Ayan, di ba bongga? Bongga yung pangkilay na to. Kaya lang, hindi manipis yung brush na kasama sa kanya. So, mahirap gawing sharp itong tail ng brows mo. Pero, if you go in with concealer after and i-carve out mo yung brows mo after doing them, pwede mo siyang gawing sharp. Okay, Bebe Gyal, so now that we're done with our eyebrows, it's time for the eyeshadow. Now, sa eyeshadow, um, if you wear your glasses, yeah, now that we have our eyebrows, so ngayon mag-frame na sa glasses natin ang bongka, di ba? Kapag mag eyeshadow ka pa, hindi talaga siya kitang-kita. So, when you wear eyeshadow, as you can see, hindi naman siya nag-respect yung light, sorry. Hindi klaro when you apply eyeshadow on eyeshadow dito sa iyong eyelids. So we're going to focus the eyeshadow here on the lower lash line. Kasi dyan naman medyo kita yung eyeshadow natin, di ba? Tatanggalin muna natin yung powder na nilagay natin all over our eyelid. And then, what we're going to do is we're just gonna add a little bit of warmth dito sa ating crease. I'm just gonna use this color right here. Ito yung bagong EB Pro na 16 colors eyeshadow. Dito lang natin siya i-concentrate sa ating crease area. Like so, just to contour our eyes. And para may life naman siya kahit konti. And then, to keep things bright, um, I'm going to apply this cream-colored matte eyeshadow right here. Tapos just using my finger, lalagay ko siya all over the eyelids. Ayan, for a bright looking eye look, diba? Bonga! Okay, now I'm just going to brush all the excess powder away so that we can work on the lower lash line. Lalagay ko rin yung nilagay natin sa eyelid right here, sa brow bone. And then, itong shimmery shade right here na parang almost silver, we're going to put it on our inner corners to brighten things up. Because as what I said, glasses tend to cast a shadow on your eyes. So you want to apply an inner corner highlight just to brighten things up. Tapos, we can also apply this shade on the inner corner dito sa inner third ng ating or sa lower lash line. With the same shade na ginamit natin sa ating crease, Ilalagay ko naman to sa ating lower lash line. Chiran! Actually, bongga na yan. Maglalagay lang ako ng white eyeliner sa lower waterline natin para mas awake ang look natin today. Gamit ko si... Ay, naputol! Nakakalok! Nagbabalat talaga yung ilong ko, baby girls. Pasensya na ha. It's probably a side effect no um, laser na ginawa sa aking face. 
Diba? Mas nagmukhang mas malaki yung eyes natin. Bongga. Then, magka-tight line na lang din ako. Kasi I don't want anything too dark dito sa ating lid. Kasi it will just add to like the shadows na makakas ng ating glasses. Ayan. Diba bongga? para naka-eyeliner ka. Pero wala naman talaga. And then, it's time for lashes. Hindi tayo magpa-false lashes kasi matatouch lang yun sa lens ng glasses mo. Sa mascara, gagamitin ko ito si Essence Forbidden Volume Mascara. Bonggang-bongga to. 149 pesos ko lang siya nabili. Pero naka-sale kasi yun. Alright, so that's our eyes done. Now, let's work on the face kasi we're looking like a big shiopaw, no? Okay, so since sinabi ko sa inyo medyo narrow yung aking glasses, I need to contour my face para it will match the glasses, di ba? Para hindi naman masyadong malaki tignan yung face ko and maliit yung glasses para sa akin. So for the face makeup, contour, blush, highlight, ito yung gagamitin ko si EB Pro Cheek Set. Pero para dito sa shade na to, gagawin ko siyang parang bronzer and contour in one kasi parang ganun yung shade niya. Medyo warm kasi siya ng konti. Well, actually, it's like a mid-tone brown color, so bonga pa rin siya. Para sa blush naman, usually, I mean all the time, I apply the blush all over. Pero for today, I'm just gonna apply the blush on the apples of the cheeks. Kasi dito, mostly nakaupo yung glasses ko. Feather it out para blended ang look niya. And finally, it's time to highlight. I don't know kung may natutulong ba siya para mas maganda tignan yung glasses on your face. I just like to highlight. Siyempre, highlight sa ilong para matangos tignan. Sa lipstick naman, kayo nang bahala ko anong gusto niyong gamitin. I'm just gonna use this EB Liquid Lipstick in the shade Serena. So, eto na nga ang ating final look, baby gels. What do you think? Yung highlight natin is very subtle lang kasi gagawan, gagawan ko pa ng video yung EB na cheek set. So, gusto ko gamitin ko siya. Anyway, this will have to do for now. I think okay siya. Maganda naman siya. It's my like go-to everyday look. And with my glasses, ta-da! Looks like this. Diba ang cute? Tayin natin yung ring light. Itong glasses na to, I got from www.firmu.com. Yung old ko na glasses were from them as well. And this one is just super cute, baby girls. Ayan, oh. Para siyang octagon, pero may pakat ay siya dito. Bonggang bongga. It's a combination of parang tortoise ba yun? And gold. So, bonggang bongga siya, di ba? So cute! I really, really like them. And as you can see, med, di ba sabi ko medyo mas narrow siya compared to my face. Yung noon kasi it was a little bit wider than this one. Pero I really, really like the shape of this one. Parang pang millennial siya, di ba? Bongga. Yung lens naman ito, baby gels, 1.56 thin spheric lens with anti-reflection coating. Now, yung style nitong glasses na to, baby gels, um, ilalagay ko na lang dito kasi hindi ko siya na-memorize just in case you're interested. Kasi dun sa mga Instagram stories ko, maraming nagtanong sa inyo kung saan ko ba to nabili. And a lot of you really, really like the shape of these glasses. I think bago nila to na style. As in, it's so cute. I'm obsessed with them. Diba? Ang cute-cute niya. Parang hindi siya hindi siya common ba na mahanap mo. And also, one more thing, nung first time ko na mag-order sa Firmu, yung glasses ko before, medyo natatakot ako kasi baka hindi tama yung prescription lenses niya. Pero to my surprise, like, okay na okay na okay siya, baby yells, as in, klarong klaro. And, yes, it's just the same as those lenses na mabibili mo sa optical talaga like same experience lang kasi syempre before sa mga optical sa mga optical lang ako nakakabili ng mga glasses pero nung nag-reach out yung firm mo sa akin mga was that a year ago or almost two years ago na shock ako na super ganda din pala ng mga glasses nila and yung prices nila ranges from like 20 to like 36 dollars so bonggang bongka very affordable in ano, kinumpute ko tong glasses ko and I think it reached mga 1,500 pesos lang ko i-convert mo sa peso. So, super mura lang. Yun nga lang you need to pay for shipping. Pero meron silang mga promos like 
kung input mo yung email mo doon na merong buy one get one coupon or merong free shipping na mga promo, yung mga ganun. So, bonggang bongga, di ba? Also, may nagtanong sa akin doon sa Instagram, gusto niya daw bumili nito. Pero natatakot siya, baka daw hindi bagay sa kanya. Sa firm mo, meron silang, ano doon, like you can choose glasses for the shape of your face. And you can also upload your picture and parang itatry on mo yung glasses virtually, like through the computer. Di ba bongga? So, you can see how the glasses may look on you before purchasing them. And meron silang promo sa ngayon. Actually, babidios na buy one, get one free. Ilalagay ko na lang yung link in the description box below if you want to get a pair of glasses for yourself and for a friend. That promo ends on September 25. Also, baby girls, I forgot to mention that it comes with this hard case, which is very sturdy. So, so dalawa na yung ganito ko. I'm so happy. And ganyan yung itsura niya. So, parang medyo leather-ish siya na hard case. And then inside, it just looks like that. So, here is my glasses. Yung kanyang lens trapo. Nakasulat din siya na fur move right there. And meron ka ring parang soft case na kasama sa kanya. Which looks like this. Inside, you also get I hope it will focus. Pero this is a screwdriver and some mini screws as well. So kung masira yung glasses mo, you can just fix it yourself. Which is Bonga! So, ayun! That is it for this video, baby girls. I hope you enjoyed and thank you for Mu for sending me a new pair of glasses. I love them so much. So, yeah. That's it. Thank you so much for watching today's video, baby girls. I hope you enjoyed and hopefully I will see you in the next video. Hopefully tomorrow. Vavoo!